Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Texas Rangers and the Los Angeles Angels. And now, welcome your first Los pitch Angeles coming your way next. Angel. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit for the Angels. Good contact good. guy, good defender. Third baseman. Great speed Gerald. and great power. Raymond. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Swings and blasts oh, one deep here, to left center. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. The two-run shot is 38th of the year. It's 2-1. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Welcome back. Now, Gerald Raymond. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Yeah, the right hater back to work. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. Up the middle, and there's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Really nice job staying up the now middle with his approach. Right he didn't field. try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through oh, the man. infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Alonso Thomas. 2-2 two -two now. Runner on the goal. And fouled off. Kicks and deals. Runner goes again. Pitch almost got him. And safe. Gets a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. And ball four to a board. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, now they've set batting. up a double the play the opportunity. Hitter. So not Alberto. a terrible result. Go, man. So now here's the DH. Alberto Gomez. His home and away splits there. One one now. In the air, left side. Cordova settles underneath it. One down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying no, closed. No, if he ten. does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And the righty deals. Two ball, one strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Raymond over at second. Thomas over at first with one away. Pickoff throw, and he's back in safely. Another throw to second, and he's back again. Let's go, kid. And a pitch. And downstairs. Hey, you pitch. Drive it deep, huh? Here you go. Fouls one away, and now three and two. One out. Runners at hey, first and second. Hey, drive it. Here we go. 
Next offering is foul back. And there's ball four. Not a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow but he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. One down. And the batter now, Alex Levin. To the right side. And it gets by him. Salinas fires it to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. It's 4-1. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And next for the Angels, Gerald Raymond. Fly, he's not going to get right cheated here. up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a rope into center field base hit. Ferreira around third. He'll score, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So two down now, and here is Alonso Thomas. The right fielder, number nine. The pitch. And a foul ball. First and second, two down. And that one is lifted in the air. Franklin settles under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Three innings complete. It's the Angels eight and the Rangers one. in Anaheim and now Gerald Raymond and leading off no matter what Angels, you're playing this kind of rival baseman, take your Gerald game to another level Raymond. and a pitch now a rocket to right center way back there and forget it it's out of here another homer his second home run of the game it's 9-1 the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark you want to bottle that type of approach so first and second with one man gone hey, and here's the right catcher here. Pete batting. Dell the catcher Pete Dell you'll one Grounder might be two. Fired to second. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Angels nine and the Rangers one. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit for the Angels. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And first offering is fouled off. The next pitch misses and one and one. Ferreira over at second, one down. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Ferreira coming home. He scores. It's 10 1. 
Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Now on the bump, Johan Garcia. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And stepping in is the speedy Alonso Thomas. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Garcia picks the first. Raymond dives back in safely. And a 3-2. Rudder takes off. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call oh, with that last game. pitch, but neither happened. Yeah, Close hit. pitch, but a good take Alberto. to earn that walk. Go, Alberto Gomez, the next to hit for hey, the Angels. Pitch, pitch right nope, next offering it. is down low. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Garcia picks over. Raymond back in on a dive. Hey, Runners at first it. and second with one gone. Hey. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Willard McDermott, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. The pitch on the ground is short could be two one at second double play and that'll do it for the inning so they pick up a run on two hits no errors and a man left through eight full it's the Angels 10 and the Rangers one. Henry Cordova stepping in for the Rangers for the fourth time tonight next for the Rangers the left fielder Henry Cordova on the ground to the left and it finds its way through for a hit Enoho around third throw is offline and he scores and it's now 10-2 Man, he is absolutely. This one was pretty much decided in the third inning. From that point on, all they had to do was play fundamentally sound baseball to secure the win, and they did just that. 10 to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.